It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from Dr. S***'s office. I was looking to speak with Ty Williams. Uh, this is C. Hey, Ty, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. What's this about? Well, your wife was in our dentist's office the other day, and she scheduled an appointment for you. So I'm just calling to confirm that that's for Friday at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, I, I mean, I know she set it up, but I just, I'm just, uh, I haven't been in a long time, and I'm just, I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I really, really hate going to the dentist. Yeah, that's what she mentioned that you don't like going to the dentist very much. Yes. So went ahead and did that anyway. So I mean, I'm calling to help put your mind at ease. The doctor is really great with all of our patients. Okay. I'm sure you would say that, but I, I, I still don't know. Well, in in fact, we had a gentleman come in the other day who was about your age. He sounded just like you, actually, very skeptical. Mm-hmm. And and he was a bleeder. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I mean, blood everywhere. <laughs> You're helping that guy out. You know that's not helping, right? I mean. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, that's like one of the things I'm worried about. Like, you guys going to slip, going to nick something. Well, no, I'm mean, just, I'm letting you know that because uh, the doc couldn't figure out how to stop the blood. But once the ER team showed up and helped him out, he shook the doctor's hands and he thanked him. And, I mean, uh, excuse my language, but I'm not trying to make this a whole ordeal. I, I mean, I don't want to go in the first place and this guy's already been bleeding out of his damn mouth. No, well, I just, I well, he was that. a pretty unique case. I mean, we don't get that many bleeders in here like that. Are you a bleeder? Do you bleed a lot? I don't know. I mean, I, I try to avoid going there so I can avoid knowing that specific information. I mean, I guess I guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? <laughs> the good news is, if you are a bleeder, you're in good hands. Please don't mention the blood anymore. I mean, you know, oral health is extremely important for a lot of reasons. So it's it's important that you come in here for this visit, okay? Uh, Do me a favor when you're when you're googling stuff, don't read any reviews because that wouldn't be good. Wait, wait, what, why would I not read the reviews? There's just a lot of stuff online that I wouldn't want you to be reading, things that could maybe freak you out a little bit, you know, just mostly from busybodies online with nothing better to do. You know how that works. <laughs> so wait, what are people saying that you don't want me to find out? What are people, what is, what is going on? Oh, I mean, you're, just, you're trying to tell me to come in and you're trying to hide this information. What is going on here? It's just a bunch of nonsense. There was this one review saying that the doctor didn't numb their mouth before drilling, and another person said what? the doctor had alcohol on his breath and slurred speech during the procedure, and that is definitely not true. What the f*** okay? are you talking about? He, are you telling me that the dentist is a f***ing alcoholic? And you want me to go in there and have this guy root around my f***ing mouth? No, are see, that's, the, right that's what these idiots online would want you to think, but I'm calling from the dentist's office to let you know that is not happening here. Look, you're already telling me that you have people coming in bleeding all over the place and calling the ER, and now you're telling me that the f***ing dentist is a f***ing damn drunk? No, no, I, sir, I'm not saying that. People online said that, and those people would be called liars. How do I know you're not the f***ing liar, huh? How am I supposed to believe you? Oh, well, I'm not the liar, because I can't even do dental work. What? Did you, hold on, no, you did not just tell me, have you lost your damn mind? I'm calling to help put your mind at ease. I work at the office, but my license was stripped a while ago, so I can't do any more dental work. But the doctor is going to be helping you out. No. No, no, no. I mean, no. You can't. No, hell no. F*** that sh The dentist here is licensed to practice, and I will tell you, we have not had a death in our facility in over six months, and we are very proud of that. Oh, 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 oh f*** that sh Dentist? Are you serious right now? I'm like already freaked the f*** out, and you're going to tell me that people have died in here? Scared? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's why I don't want to go to the dentist's office. I mean, you've got f***ing people dying. Ah, uh, no, oh, no, I mean, no sir. That. Sir, we do not have people dying what? in here. It ha hasn't happened in six months, like I said. Six months? Are you me? That was like yesterday. You can't just say six months like that's enough time. You killed somebody. Someone died in your care, and you want me to come in and sit there in the same place where someone just died recently. Six I, months is not a long time. I don't think you realize how good of a track record that is with Dennis, okay? Normally, patients are dropping like flies left and right. I mean, we can barely keep these guys alive in here on a daily basis. Six months is pretty no, good. No, 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 no. Just cancel my appointment. I am never, ever stepping foot anywhere near that place. How about I tell you this is a prank phone call then? Would that help? What? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. I, no, are you f***ing with me right now? I'm <laughs> no, I'm not. F with me anymore. Your wife, Alex, set you up. She said that you're scared of going to the dentist and wanted me to mess with you.
Oh. <laughs> he knows how he feels about dentists. Oh, my God. Hey, the doc's really excited to get you in here, poke around your mouth. Maybe he'll kill you. Who knows? Either way, it's going to be a great appointment. <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Taps. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Channel 94.1.